update ever, you guys. The 720S, as you know, is recently rebuilt. It is running, it is good to go, yeah. but it's missing a few key elements. Specifically in this region here, a little over here, a little over there. Well, as you might not know this, there was damage in the front from the accident because the back of the car flew in the air, landed and smacked right here, damaging this panel, that panel, a little bit over here. So what do you do? Do you fix it? Not if you're Damon Fryer. You spend over 100 thousand dollars on a one-off full carbon body kit and in this video today it's arriving and we will unbox to see what the f did Damon buy. Now, what are you expecting from this kit? I haven't seen anything. Knowing Damon it's gonna be very race car like and very much less practical. We might lose the frunk. We might, I don't no. know man. We might get a, a massive wing with so much downforce it gets two miles per gallon. Just expecting based on what Damon likes to do to cars. Okay, Garrett, any thoughts? Well, based on the new merch drop, definitely Because Race Car. That's right, you guys. Very, very soon we're dropping a whole new line of Because Race Car and some pretty special stuff, including mechanic wear. Yes, that's right. Some pretty cool stuff for you guys. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, the kit arrived all the way from Vietnam. It's currently at LAX. I'm trying to clear customs. It is not simple. It's not a lie. It's not me playing games. In fact, I was gonna film the process but I was so stressed out, I turned the camera off, trying to deal with getting this car cleared. I have to hire a broker, which I've done. I've hired a transport company, which I've done. And it all has to get done right now. It needs to get done today because I want to daily upload the next four days of us rebuilding this car, getting it back together, ready to go back to Canada, get inspected, and then for Damon to drive it. And as well as he has a special livery coming very, very soon. But it needs the kit on it. It's the weekend. There's no Mike Asa. There's no Tim. There's just the boys. Whoa. So you guys always say, all I do is talk. I don't do anything. Well, I'm going to pull this whole car apart myself. What? We're gonna disassemble this entire car to a bare chassis. So I might get to on Monday after his luxurious weekend yachting and boating and whatever he does, he can bolt that kid on. So the next four days are all about the 720 GTR. It's coming out of your paycheck. So you. Yes, the cars are back in Canada. Damon's sexy Super Trofeo Evo 2 race car and the beloved gold Squadra Corsa. Do you guys want to see a sneak peek of some of the merch we have coming? We're waiting for transport right now. So in the meantime, let me show you some pretty cool stuff we have dropping very, very soon. If you want to go right now and sign up to shopd.com, you can sign up for email alerts to be the first to know. We have a shop banner for your garage wall, for the kitchen wall if you want to get divorced, wherever you want to put it. This will be dropping very, very soon. We have the tri-colors and we have the DDE. It makes a great gift for any weddings and or funerals. Oh, you haven't seen this yet. This will change your life. Check that out. Oh, no way. Because race car. Oh, right, right there. there. Trademark DDE, and as well as I love this detail. Powered by Daily Twin Exotics. Dude, the quality. You like it? Yes. Yeah, it's got the chip down here. So it has a chip in there. You can scan it to make sure it's actually number one, real. Number two, some little bit of behind the scenes. Mm -hmm content there for you guys, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we wait. We wait, we wait, wait for the kit to show up. So we can unbox it and make sure, number one, is everything there? Things also get damaged in transport. The other issue is, will it fit? It's okay. Should we go do something? Go get coffee while waiting or something? Or go get some Celsius? Uh, we'll get Celsius. Let's get some Celsius. You guys wanna do it? We take I need some Celsius. Get a new car? Yeah, well, kind of. I have a rental car for right now. My Civic's still in the shop. Mark rolled up here in a Chevy Cruze? Chevy Spark, baby. Oh, bro. Which, bro. with the name Spark, you would think it'd be like a hybrid. No, it's just an NA, probably three cylinder or Can something. I it for a yeah, sure, dude. Oh, Mark. Yeah, dude. I got the seat all the way back for you. This thing is amazing. Hold on. <laughs> Youth. Yeah, hop, hop in the oh, like door. There's a no lot of leg room there, dude. Just hop in. <laughs> no way. You'll fit. Feels just like a cop car, huh? <laughs> well, if we lose all our money, we know we can have fun with the Chevy Spark. Chevy. <laughs> We were drinking all the Celsius, and they send us literally cases. Our friends come over. In fact, I heard a rumor that Tim takes four home every day with every him. Every single night. So we're off, we're off to 7-Eleven to grab some more Celsius. And that's right, this video is also sponsored by Celsius. Damon spent over 100 grand on a kit. We're gonna have to recoup that somehow. So we're driving a Chevy Cruze right now. Spark. All right, boys and girls, time to load some Celsius. As you guys know, we love Celsius. It tastes great, and it gives you the energy you need to survive the day. In fact, recently, in the previous video, you saw we drove 30 hours straight with the truck and trailer. How do we do that? Powered by Celsius. Powered by Celsius. I've been waiting all day for a Celsius. Oh, hold on, hold on, seven more, seven more. I'm not joking, they send us like 10 cases a month and these fiends suck them all back. All right, boys and girls, before we unbox the kit, hopefully it arrives today, we're gonna hit the Celsius. Oh. Cheers. 
Cheers, boys. Oh, boys. It's a big day. It's a big day. You really think you spent a hundred grand? You think you spent like a hundred and eighty grand? I hope not. I'm knowing Damon probably two million dollars. Make some of those day with the Celsius. You know what? If you're watching right now, do me a favor. Go buy two Celsius, this one for yourself, and make someone's day. In fact, I actually gave the clerk working a Celsius. He's like, what are you guys doing? I said, oh, we do stuff for Celsius, some favorite drink. He goes, yeah, people love this stuff. I'm like, do you want a can? I gave him a can. You want Celsius? We're spreading the love. Do you want one? Celsius? Yeah. I'll take one. Okay, give me a fist bump. Okay, well, we'll do, um, hold on. You gotta try the sparkling mandarin marshmallow. It's my favorite. Hit that right now and tell me your thoughts. No pressure. Oh, yeah. Cheers, 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 cheers. Okay, good. That's really good. Yeah! I got good news and bad news, boys. You want to hear the good news or the bad news first? Uh, I'll start with the good news. The bad news is, is that lunch plans are now canceled. The good news what? is, is that the item has been delivered. Yeah! But now I'm wondering, how do they deliver if we're not there? Damon ordered this. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not making this up right now. I hope we didn't miss the delivery by leaving for a minute. That'd be really suck. This is delivered though. It doesn't say attempted delivery or offer delivery. It says item been delivered. Every time we drink a Celsius, we always get good luck, man. I love <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> if I missed this delivery, it would really suck. But you can't go pick it up. It came from LAX Airport. By the way, delivery was seven hundred and fifty dollars. A 45 minute drive to LAX. And after I paid, like, you know, you also could have picked it up. But they have a van. I don't know how big the box is. Apparently, it's a full rebody. Every panel. But once this is done, we can literally send the car to Canada, get registered, and drive it. That's Who's so pumped sick. to see the 720 back on the road and not us driving around in a Chevy Cruze? Spark. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Hey, Dave. Is it on brand? Apparently, the kit's arrived, so we'll find out right now. I'm really hoping it's not damaged. I ordered my kit for the Murcielago SV, fake Mercy SV kit, and it came. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the video, but it was beat to sh Yeah, it was bad. It was, like, the box was damaged. It was a huge nightmare. And if any of these parts are damaged, it's going to throw us back literally months. This video is going to have a few components. Happiness, sadness. But in the meantime, it's happy because I have Celsius. Tension. How do you hold your Celsius can? See anything? Yeah. There's no like slip on the door or anything either. So. All right, as you guys saw, there's nothing up front. So there were two things that happened in my detective brain. Number one, they have the wrong address and dropped it off somewhere else, which is really suck. Number two, someone stole it. We were gone for like 45 minutes, so I'm not oh, sure if someone saw that and figured out how to get a truck and steal it. So we're gonna call them right now. Hopefully, talk to a real person, not an operator, figure out where the kit is. Otherwise, we have no kit, we have no video, and this footage will probably get deleted. Hey, it's uh, Dave Coulter. I had a package uh, supposed to be delivered, a cargo item delivered today, and I got the email saying it's been delivered and there's nothing here. Yeah, it says it got delivered. Yeah, there's nothing here. Like literally, how big is the item? It's like a, it's like a, it's a body kit. It's a huge crate, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. There's nothing here. All right, um, I don't know what to tell you, man. It says it got delivered. Why would they deliver it when no one's here? What if someone stole it? I, I don't know, man. All I can see on my end is that it says delivered. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. I don't know what to do Dude. right now. We need to go talk to all the neighbors and see if it, that's probably what it was. Go this way. Come on. They probably dropped it off at the neighbor's house. It happens here all the time because the addresses aren't clear. The only confusing part is, unless it's not the full kit, it could be part of the kit. I don't know if they're shipped all at the same time. But if it was like one panel or like a bumper or a wing or whatever, poor Garrett. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Garrett's struggling. We are searching for ideally a big body kit. How many times have we had to do this with packages? Dude, it's so annoying. I have to do this at least two times, three times a week. <laughs> They'll just bring it to the wrong spot. I talk to the delivery drivers, I call FedEx, I call Amazon. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we dropped it off today. We're doing this to get our audience. There's nothing here. And nada. Yeah, there's nothing. Who wants to call Damon and tell him his kit's missing? Not me. What are you laughing at? Dude, what are you laughing at? Just give it. No! <laughs> How the hell did they even get it here? Oh. I can't make. You guys sometimes say we stage things like his Porsche being repoed. That was real, so was this. What I do notice is it has the wrong address on the box. Right here it says King's Auto Body Shop. I won't show their address and it has Damon's personal phone number on it. And it wrote his name Demon, by the way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what Demon. So originally he had it shipped to King to install, but we're gonna do it ourselves. But I did change that in the way bill, and all the phone obviously got it right. So if someone's either being funny or see how they oh. I can see how they uh <laughs> Why would they put it there? <laughs> of all the <laughs> dull, of all the things that happen on this channel, this is by far the weirdest. How heavy is it? Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, wow, Mark's a lot stronger than okay, I Okay, let's get into the garage and let's unbox this thing. The audience has been waiting long enough. Do we have to get the forklift? Yeah. Garrett, can you drive the forklift? Not again. Not again? When did what you I don't want to do is, is damage it. Should we just open it up here? 
No, I'll get it in the garage, boys. In the garage next to the 720. Welcome to another day of <laughs> ODDE. Sorry, 720, we're gonna get this done for you, buddy. Right there. Oh, yeah. I have to pull it out, as she said. We can't drag it because it's literally smashing the top of our concrete here. Dolly up, boys. Garrett, that's to the side. More. Put it in. You're gonna lose a finger. It's actually pretty light. You wanna know why it's light? It's actually carbon fiber. The whole thing. There's no steel in this box. Right, but still, probably the weight weighs more. Do not drop that. That's a hundred thousand doll hairs in there. Oh, 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 careful. Oh. Watch the Humvee. Nice. Okay, but actually it was pretty easy. But I'm a little worried about those. Look at this, this box and how it's put together. Like this is on seams and pieces of wood. Dude, it's it's so come with a whole. Is there any damage on it? And it's warped. Look at how warped it is. Let's get some crowbars. Must stop wasting time. Woo! Damon's literally FaceTiming me six times today asking, is the kit there? I said, yep. I texted him before we filmed that segment. He's like, can you open it? I'm like, well, I have to get the top open it. Just open it now. I'm like, no. We gotta do this like YouTubers in a controlled environment with studio lighting. Crowbars. All right, guys. Have you ever wondered what a $100,000 carbon fiber body kit from McLaren looks like? You're about to find out. I'm excited, dude. Whoa. Whoa. You smell that resin from that fresh carbon fiber? Dude, you gotta chill. Damon's not here to be aggressive. Dude, there's a whole car in here. The first piece of the puzzle. We gotta box this entire thing to see if everything's here and if it's not damaged. The problem is I don't know what half the stuff is. You wanna see the first piece of carbon fiber? You wanna see what the weave looks like? If you follow us on Vero, Damon actually made a sneak peek of the kit on Vero, the weave. If you haven't followed us there yet, link in the description. Ready for it? Ooh. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, so um, I wasn't sure how to respond, what to do to even record this, but there's actually no bull serious problem with this kit. I was filming the first part and I kind of stopped. And I was excited, but I noticed a problem. Do you see those little round marks? Almost looks like a weird pattern. Just showing up. Mm -hmm. So at first we're like, oh, that's weird. Is it residue or some dirt? It's the bubble wrap. So I suspect the resin wasn't cured when they wrapped all these parts. And now all the clear is basically um, from the bubble wrap sticking to it. And it cured a bit longer while sticking to the plastic, leaving all those little marks all over it. Every panel of this entire kit. I'm actually at a loss. I'm trying to get a hold of Damon to see what we want him to do. Like, do I keep unboxing this? It's like water that's been trapped underneath it. Now it's like foggy over the clear. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, this you sucks. make this shit, but it's like, dude, you're waiting for months for this thing, and then it shows up. And and it's literally every panel. And there's so many pieces in here. I'm having a hard time even vlogging this right now. I'm actually really frustrated. And Damon's gonna be really disappointed. He's been really looking forward to this for a long time. This is the car that he finished building that was destroyed when someone hit him. And his journey getting back together didn't make car week. And the kit's here, I wanna get done in four days. And now it's, it's Man, that's easily like another four to six weeks. And that's even if you rush it. No, this took like three months. It's bad. Is it? It's really bad. Put the light on it. That one's the worst I've seen so far. You guys, oh, right there, hold it right there. Don't move, right there. You see all those little honeycomb things? That's all from bubble wrap setting into the resin. Like, you can't just get it out. Oh. Like, it's not just gonna come out. So. This will be the piece I show Damon. Damon's in Vegas right now, it's his wife's birthday. You guys might see it at home, see it on screen, but like, it's not coming out. Like, we're trying to scrub it. There's that piece over there that's like super cloudy. Like, it's. No, it's, 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 like, it's like it was cured, but then if there's still heat and then all that other stuff through shipping and stuff, it easily, as it settles, it's just, it's in the, it's in the very top layer, yeah. which means it could be fixed, but that means you literally have to wet sand the whole, every single little piece. That would take, that would, that would literally clear it. That would take a hundred hours and cost yeah. 20 grand in labor. Yeah, that's what I mean. With the body shop, I would wait $200 an hour. Well, let's keep on unpacking it because we haven't seen any physical damage yet. Obviously there's a um, quality issue. It's so deflating. I'm, I'm glad Damon's not here because 
I kid you not, when he found out the kit was coming, I said, I'm going to stay in LA for a few more days and bang this out for you. He's been asking for photos, for updates, in a very positive way because he's excited. Think of my Bentley GT3 kit, how excited I am for that to build one day. That's this times 10 for Damon. Pop that open. Let's keep on opening Dude, And like the pieces are sick. I, I'm starting to see it and it, like it looks amazing, but it is just so Well, at this point, you have to wrap the entire car. Then what's the point of spending over hundred grand on carbon? All right, so we're about halfway through. Um, aside from the actual issues with clear coat, the kit is insane. Every part is different. So it's a full redesign of the 720. Look at the headlights, dude. Yeah, they're good. They so, like, so watch, aggressive. Hold this up next to the original, it's like. It extends it inside. But yeah, every piece has that issue with the clear. And, uh, oh my goodness. Whoa, that's Whoa, it. Oh, that goodness. is deep. Oh, dude, man. Dude, dude, dude. It's wild. Like, look at the loops in the fender. The excitement dropped a little bit with all the damages, but I'm trying to, <sighs> trying to see past that right now with the actual design of the kit and what Damon came up with. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be so crazy. That would be the craziest 720 on the planet. By far. GTR, by far. I think we found the wing and it's absolutely massive. It looks like a bank <laughs> on like a BMX. Like, For real. You know what I mean? Like look at the concave on the side and then right here. Massive bank. It's cool. Dude, when this stuff. thing breaks and this huge piece flies up in the air. So I put the front of the car into the ground. You got yourself a side plate. Dude, it's so wide. <laughs> hold it like this. It's so wide. Like if you look at the stock. So hold it up to the side of the car. It'll be on this side. Damn. <laughs> it is gonna be crazy to have a fully exposed carbon 720 GTR wide body. With like Pagani thickness yeah. type weave. Legit. Like legit. This weave on this is sick. Take care of the Oh yeah. <laughs> oh that is wicked. Dude, what in the world? Yeah, that's Dude, that's so big. Oh, 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 look at that. It's like P1 vibe in the scoop right here. I don't know if everything's here or not because I don't know what's involved in this build. Like, it has way more parts than I thought it'd have. I wonder if Mike Essay can mount this all. Because the hardest part of knowing is like, where's everything go? Mike's pretty smart though. So it's about two hours since we unboxed the package that came in these weird circumstances, but I thought that's kind of, it's entertaining, not a big deal. It's this hard thing when you see a problem and you know, like, I don't want the video to be negative. I want it to be fun, this is a big moment. I'm talking to Damon, he's obviously like disappointed. Three months for this kit, we just wanna get it done. Just thinking aloud with you guys right now, we're doing this real time. Number one, I think we need to install the kit. Number one, make sure it fits because yeah. If it doesn't fit, we have to modify it. Well then, why would you re-clear the whole thing or paint it or whatever and risk damaging it? So I think this video will go finish unpacking everything. And I don't know if everything's there, but I don't know how to find out what's missing. Do you feel the tension right now? But this is real life, you guys. Like we show you guys as much as we can all the time about what really happens when you build a car. It's not always perfect. Sometimes it hits you harder than other times where it's like, you get that text from your wife or girlfriend saying we need to talk later. That feeling you get, that's what I have right now. I was actually supposed to fly to Vegas. I, I, I was gonna fly to Vegas anyways and show Damon one of the parts and go visit and have dinner with them in Vegas for the night. I canceled my flight. I'm like, I'm not gonna bring him a stacked up part. Now I need to solve this problem because he'd do it for me. So Damon, if you're watching this, enjoy uh, your wife's birthday. We'll figure this out, find a solution. We're doing things that have never been done before. It's stressful. That 720, if you think about the time and energy spent over years, like when the engine blew, it was down for a year. So this is just part of the process, but it sucks because we had it rebuilt so quickly. It's running, it's good to go. Like you can drive that car right now, no problem. It's just a body kit. Yeah. So anyways, okay, well, we've had a chance to discuss it. We know what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep on packing it and then um, see if it fits the car. If it fits the car, we'll figure it out. Comment below, what would you do? Would you send it back, fix it yourself? Would you just wrap it? The downside of the wrapping part is that the whole thing's Exposed you carbon fiber. You can't wrap it. What else no. do you do? Leave it like that? I think, like you say, we put it on the car, and even on the car, you can sit there and, and wet sand and buff it and do it, you know, the, I don't know, you could spray another clear. <sighs> I don't think you can do that on the car. I think it has to come apart again. Positives, guys, positives, guys, right? Right? If you wrapped it, you could, like, there are some of the uh, panels where it is pretty gritty. Like, you can actually still see the texture, so it might show up through the wrap anyways. So you, either way, you're gonna have to re-clear. Not the videos plan on making today. I brought in an expert to get an opinion. Expertise. So, you had a chance to review the parts. What's your initial thoughts? So with my R8, right, when I had my R8, flex, yep. it was flex. I had the same thing happen where it was like this, but it was more so lined. And it was the heat 
that made it leave these heat. little, the heat left the little indents like that. So this could have happened in transport because of the heat. So it could be the heat that, you know, transferred onto there because it's plastic. If it is the resin, you have to sand it down and re-clear coat it. If not, and it's just, the heat, like I said, you'd be able to buff it out. Do you know somebody? And I do know somebody. I can come tonight. You? Uh, I can I'm call someone that night. can come. Yeah, I, I, need need come, I want someone who's really talented at this stuff to come and see Take if they look. can't fix it. Because I'll pay somebody, whatever dollar amount that's fair, like 10 bucks an hour, yeah. to work a graveyard to all <laughs> dialed in. Because Damon actually very upset right now. He's very disappointed. Like, not mad, but like sad. That it's on every single part. Yeah. And there's still a left to be unboxed. Yeah. I think it's the heat. I think it'll be all right because- On a polish how, or a wet sand? On, I think just polishing it, you might be all right because see how it's faint here and it's bad right here. Can you call somebody? I'll offer them. I'll call I'll pay somebody a thousand dollars cash to come, to to come polish this <laughs> up. That might be a good deal or a bad deal, I don't know. Where's the one that got wet? Did you just hit the car? Are you okay? Where's the one that got wet? Damn, that's what? Yeah. But carbon can get wet. What do you mean got wet? It came in, it was full of water. Is that a problem? I'd say that might be a problem. How do we know it's not warped? So it's a little, a little cloudy. Ooh. Boy, uh, it just gets better and better. All right, guys, it is the next day. Nick's back, he brought his polisher in. I've had a ton of conversations with a bunch of people, people that work at body shops, detailers. Basically, you have two options, polish it or sand it and re-clear it. Polish is obviously the faster, easier method. So we'll start right now and see if that solves the problem. And then I still have to unbox the entire kit, only halfway through, and we'll go over some of these parts. In the meantime, dude, the wing is sick. The wing is massive. <laughs> We haven't even gone through the rest. Anyways, I get distracted. Okay, let's see if we can solve a problem before we go to the exciting part. So we're gonna start with this panel here. I believe this is, I assume, an under panel of some type. Like that seems like it's underneath the car. You probably won't see it. I mean, this is a, basically a puzzle of where it's all gonna go to put this car back together, which is a whole other challenge for Mike Gassa tomorrow morning. In the meantime, we shall polish. We shall polish, polish the resin. Okay. Go ahead and add a little dab. Yeah. A little upside down smiley face. There we go. <laughs> you know? Man, art. Art lives in all of us. Hey. <laughs> this is the worst panel. Like before it was brutal. Oh, yeah. What? It's gone? No, it's still. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the lighting. Oh, it was gone. Actually, actually, it got a little better right there. Let's see. Let's see where I was like laying into it? Yeah, I mean. Let me try, let me try a little more. Let me stay on it just a little longer. All right. To see how it cleared up in this little area right here. I don't think so, bro. Yeah, look, see, it's really, really bad here. But right here, you can just see the outline. Look at it from my angle. Oh, I see. I see a bit. I see a bit right there. Right there. You guys see it right there? Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me go at it one more time. So you're in the center section and what are your thoughts? I'm going with improvements. Improvements on improvements. Because right here is where I didn't touch. Yeah. All right. And then this is where I did. And if you used a little rougher pad and got in here and got yeah, To be clear, out, Nick is not a detailer. I am not. He just had the thing and said, hey, let's just do a test spot on an mm -hmm. under panel where if we made a mistake, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So if we hired a team of professional detailers, I the potential it could work. I work. noticed there's some pitting in the resin or the clear. Yeah. So right there, you can see that one right there, guys, in the light line. Yeah. So we might want to do a, a wet sand and a respray. I don't know. I think right now it doesn't make sense to do all this work and then assemble the car because there's going to be drilling and modifications required. So what we'll do is we'll finish our box and the rest of the parts. We'll go through them all in detail of where they go. The kid's crazy. Like, let's put this aside now and go, holy sh**, man, you are crazy. A full carbon rebody. And I don't even know where these freaking parts go. Like that, I believe, goes in the door. This could be, no, that seems like a, I don't even know. I feel bad for my casa. You're gonna walk in on Monday morning, all cocky like. <laughs> like oh yeah, I'm just gonna do some uh, welding on an F12. I'll be like, new project. You got a little bit of a project here. All right, well, I'm gonna uh, keep unboxing. So I'll get everything unpackaged and we'll go through every part piece by piece, try to lay out where it goes in the car and how crazy it's gonna look. We have what appears to be a rear diffuser. So. 
One problem I see is these fins are attached to the diffuser. They don't, they don't come off like a race car does. When you break one, you need to hold it back on. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? That's for your backup camera. Damn. Look at that center weave right there. Dang! It is quite the, uh, it is quite the weave. Listen, listen. Can you hear it, you guys? There's water inside. This appears to be, do we have a front bumper yet? We have a front lip unboxed. So this is, uh, there's a rear bumper. I know the hood's not here yet. I was told there's a few parts still in the mail. Oh yeah, we have front bumper. Special. All right, so we have fenders, front bumper, lower lip. But don't worry, we're gonna lay all this out by the end of the video, so don't go anywhere. You guys paid extra for the dots. <laughs> the dot, the <laughs> dot matrix. Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. All right, front bumper is unpackaged. The center weave is super cool, how it comes together like that. This one does have the same issue as suspected. Put you guys in the light here. Yeah. But uh, front bumper. What I haven't seen yet is a rear bumper. Have you? I have not. Like that. There you go. Oh, there, like you that. Go. there you go. go. Oh, bro. Dang. Shape. So you guys, it's kind of a weird angle right now, but notice the shape of that headlight right there, and the shape of this headlight. It's changed. That's more uh, wide, like almost like a pear, and this is more sharp, like a hawk. Like a hawk. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We are missing a rear bumper, unless I've forgotten something. Is that all the parts? The front hood I knew I knew wasn't done. They communicated that. But I don't see a rear bumper. Hmm. Hmm. All right, the cleanup goes. We gotta get rid of this crate now. The only problem, dude, it's not gonna fit in that dumpster. We're gonna have to, not. we'll break it down. Give me one sec. Hey guys, let's chat. My intention was to finish the video by showing you guys where every panel goes. I cannot figure out where every panel goes. In fact, I'm completely lost right now. The front's pretty simple, but take a look at it right now. Just imagine. Notice the shape, how different it is. It's even pointier. That crazy lower section of that bumper. The new headlight inserts. Those amazing, super aggressive and wide fenders. Now I have it pretty much in line where it's gonna go. Look how much wider it is than the factory body. Those incredible louvers. In the back section, I have a diffuser basically where it goes. Obviously that's going there. I assume this part goes here. The door piece on this side I put up. So basically we'll pop off that part of the door. This part will stay. We don't replace this piece. So I'll have to get that painted. But the lower section's there, obviously gonna come wider. Beyond that, I'm lost. There's so many parts to this. In fact, I have unwrapped a whole bunch. There's a big pile right here of more pieces of this car. I assume there's canards in there, but like, I don't know where any of this stuff goes. I have not seen a render of this car, neither of you. Only Damon has that in his mind right now, so I'll get that tomorrow. I guess, uh, you're up. My intention is to daily upload the build of this car. I wanna get this done. If it all goes smooth, that will happen. If it's a delay, it'll be a space. But ideally, you guys can see this car come together. Now, we know that the clear is So we're gonna have to, once it's all done, sand it down and respray it. We could get it with polish in certain areas, but you can actually see where it's thin and some pinholes. So we'll get it done right. But the nice thing now is that we don't have to worry about scratching the carbon because it's getting redone anyway. So for the fabrication, for installing it, banging it around, getting it on there, it won't be as stressful as if it was perfect. So we'll make it work. In the meantime, smash the subscribe button, follow us on this journey, comment below. What are your thoughts? Are you pumped? Are you excited? And what do we do? Do we just wrap the whole thing or paint it or actually fix the carbon? Let me know. I love you guys.